Folks, it's good to be back. I haven't done a video in a while out here in sunny Southern California. We've been going through a horrible cold and flu season and I caught it once and liked it so much I thought I would take it for another spin and caught it twice. So I have been out for three weeks and for those of you in the snow laughing at my picture out here in Southern California when it gets 45 or 50 degrees, we freeze, we, we bundle up, we get sick and then we repeat it the following season. So it's good to be back and while I was out sick, I watched a lot of YouTube, I watched a lot of you guys and I, I loved it. And I went through some viewer comments and I thought I would start with a viewer comment today because this is about a, a certain plant that I wanted to introduce, especially beginners in the hobby. This comes from, and I hope I say this right, Varag21, who says, came across your channel tonight and the plants you have in this video are the same ones I started my tank with as well. Will you be doing an update? Also, did your Cardinalis melt back a bit? Great content, by the way. Thank you very much for the kind words. We talked about it a little bit and Varag21 said thank you for responding. I'll keep researching. I will grow this darn plant no matter what it takes. And yes, you will. And I will help you folks. If you want to have a red thumb and start using red plants in your aquarium, which had scared me for a long time, I'd like to introduce this Talanthera cardinalis. Usually I don't stutter when I say it, but Talanthera cardinalis because it will provide some really nice color in your tank and it's not that hard to grow. I bought it by complete accident and now I'm putting it in all my tanks. So a little on Talanthera. Notice I didn't stutter there. Cardinalis, enjoy. Yes, folks, it's your cold, bundled up, sick, stuttering, red plant fearing, humble fish correspondent. And even though I bought this plant by accident, what I'd like to show you is this package, which was split up into my 2.6 gallon spec and into my 10 gallon tank. And I got very different growth based on the parameters of each tank, which I'd like to show you. So if you ever want a little red in your tank and you want to develop that red thumb, a little on Talanthera cardinalis right now. Folks, I wish I could tell you that I went and made an educated buy on this plant and researched it extensively before buying. I did not, it was a complete impulse buy. And I bought it because, well, the plant looked pretty. So I took it home, planted it along with a hope and a prayer, trying to get over my fear of red plants, which I have not grown well in the past. So here's a little on Talanthera cardinalis. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that scientific name. It is a stem plant. It can be red, green, or pink. And there is a brilliant pink underneath the leaves. Now the red hue of the plant is gonna depend on the iron absorption. It's native to South America lakes and rivers, and I found that it can tolerate a fairly wide range of pH, but an iron-rich substrate is a must to bring out the color in this plant, as is strong to moderate lighting, especially with exposure to the red in the lighting spectrum. So let me show you the two different reactions I got from this plant out of two different tanks. First, my 10 gallon tank. Now this tank has number 20 pool filter sand, floors tabs, at least for the last few months. I ran out of the iron heavy API root tabs that I had, but note the smaller greener leaves on this plant. With regard to the lighting, this is a stock LED. I don't know what brand it is. I picked it up at my local fish store, but there's not that much exposure to the red in the lighting spectrum. I'm sure there's some, but there aren't even any red LEDs in that light. So the red exposure is minimal. Now over to the 2.6 gallon spec tank. Here's where we are with growth. Originally planted two months ago on the right, and here's where we are now as of February 3rd. But in this tank, I have different substrate and more high quality substrate. 70% Florin Volcanic Rio Oscuro F and 30% Fluorite Black Sand. So I have a more nutritious substrate with much more iron content. The lighting in this tank is a Phoenix Stingray JLC18 clip-on light and there is more exposure to the red end of the lighting spectrum. You can even see the red LEDs in that light. So I did get a lot more red and a lot more growth in the 2.6 gallon tank versus the 10. But this is a great beginning plant. If you want to try red plants and try to get some color in your tank, I found that it is fairly easy to grow. But an iron rich substrate is the key or you can supplement with iron dosing. I found it'll take a wide range of water parameters. My 10 gallon has a pH of 8 where my 2.6 gallon has a pH of 7.6. Now the key to this plant where I really started seeing the growth was after about a month after planting. Let it root, be patient, give it a little bit of time to get a foothold and it should grow fine for you. Hopefully that's helpful folks. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.